Hijackles? Do you see missing media when you import a project into DaVinci Resolve? Well, I'll show you how to fix that. Now let's get digital. So this is the project that I'll be importing and it uses all of the files that we find inside here. And as you can see, this is a fusion composition and it uses all of these images and I can't see anything. So first things first, you'll want to open the media pool, right click, relink clips for bin. And in this case, I have all of the video clips here. So I don't have to go inside of this folder because one clip is also here. And if I just select this folder, the main one, it will also find all of the files inside here. So I'll simply select this. All of this is now relinked or it should be. I just have to wait a little bit. So this is done. All of the files are in, but the project got messed up. As you can see, I have media offline and from this point on, the animation would show up. Now you may be wondering why this doesn't show up when the fusion composition does work from the start to the end. Now this composition is a little bit demanding on my PC, but it does work from the start to the end. But when you come to the edit page, it shows media offline. To fix this issue, you will simply select the clip, go to the playback, and you'll want to delete render cache. And in this case, you could select all, but just so you don't mess anything up, use selected clips. Then delete, and this will render from the beginning. Now this will take some time for my PC to render out, but the animation should be visible from the start. If I just wait a moment, you'll see the image pop up. So you can see the animation now, and I'll come back once this is done. So this is now done. As you can see, it works. But what happens if I want to add a background, because this is a transparent video, media offline. And it doesn't matter if I move the clip back down, as you can see, I still have media offline. So if you want to make any changes to the video, or you want to put something below the video, just make sure that you put it onto the video track that you want to use, so you don't have to render this out twice. And that's it. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.